Hello guys, welcome back to Recap. I'm Christina. Today, I'm going to talk about the Australian sci-fi film called 2067. So, let's get started. In the year 2067, Earth has been devastated by climate change and an ongoing nuclear war. Only one city in the ruins of Australia has been able to hold out against these catastrophic changes thanks to synthetic oxygen. This oxygen is tainted and gradually causes a gently ablation known as the sickness. Ethan calls for his wife Cindy, who is afflicted with the sickness. One day, Ethan is called before Regina Jackson, the chronic cop CDO, who explained that the sickness will eventually wipe out humanity. During a test of the Chronicle, a prototype time machine that quantum physicist Richard, Ethan's late father, had walked on before his death 20 years earlier. The scientist received a radio signal from 400 years in the future with a message to specifically send Ethan to them. In hopes of preventing the extinction of humankind, Ethan is asked to be sent into the future. He refuses as he resents his father for abandoning him and his mother, but Sandy and Ethan's guardian and her colleague Jude manage to change his mind. After surviving the traumatic time displacement, Ethan finds himself in a large rainforest with a hand computer named Archie and a wrist device given to him as a child by Richard as his only surviving pieces of equipment. He finds the entrance to a banker-like structure and a skeleton wearing his jumpsuit. A decaying Archie and the wrist device and with a bullet hole in his car. Shocked by the discovery of his apparent death in the near future and sick from eating poisonous berries, Ethan is rescued by Jude, who follow him through time after his live readings, transmitted through the chronicle well feeling. After sharing their findings, they follow Archie's directions to another, state functional doll, which leads to the chronicle lab. Ethan's read the virus revealed to be a DNA analyzer specifically made to grant him access to the chronicle, which set itself for automatic reactivation in 4 hours. From a holographic recording left by Richard, the duo learns that the chronicle project originally entailed the reactivation of an atmospheric monitoring station, which would asserting the at atmospheres red ability in the future and then transmit the data back to the past. When fast activating the machine, Richard was surprised to receive a message to send his own son to the future. So, despite his misgivings, he propelled Ethan's risk analyzer. However, an immediate follow-up mission was rendered impossible because safely sending living matter through time required an operational link from both sides and the data showed a power failure in 2474. The Chronicle's activation triggers a malfunction in its nuclear power core, threatening to unleash a nuclear explosion before the countdown is completed. Ethan and Jude make their way to the power core, which is located beneath the overgrown ruins of their home city. Finding the ruins littered with skeletons, including Sandy's, they conclude that a cure against the sickness was never found. When Jude attempts to comfort him, Ethan recognizes Jude's voice from a recording he found on the decaying Archie, taken moments before his future self was killed. Claiming that he is saving Ethan from himself, Jude derives Ethan at gunpoint to the reactor's control room. Unable to activate the emergency override, Ethan decides to go inside of the airlock and pull the lever. Within 37 minutes to spare, the duo returns to the Chronicle lab while Ethan finds another exit that opens the entryway next to his skeleton. Ethan suffers a nervous breakdown and implores Jude to kill him, which Jude refuses to do. Jude then confesses that there was no actual hope of ever changing the future. Refusing to believe that, Ethan locks Jude in a room and plays back his father's lock from the day that Richard died. Ethan learns that his mission was a sham from the beginning. Crony cop CDO Jackson intended to flee from her dying time into the future with a chosen few, while Ethan's late father Richard maintained hope for humankind. To prevent its abuse, Richard had already keyed the time machine to Ethan's DNA, but when Richard's colleague announced that the machine could be read to send a person into the future one way, 
Jackson killed Richard. Jude was appointed by Jackson as Ethan's guardian to ensure that he would be sent forward in time to repel the power failure and stabilize the time portal once Ethan returned to 2067. Jackson would then have him killed. Knowing all of this, Ethan tried to shut the Chronicle down, but Jude moves to stop him. When Ethan refuses to fight him, Jude kills Regent to take his own life. Just before Chronicle Cop, CDO Jackson can put her plans in motion, Ethan sends the sent Ethan White message into the pets. He then sends a copy of his late dead Richard's recorded murder on the hand computer Archie, hundreds of late jungle plans and a farewell gift to his wife Cindy. He destroys the chronicle, which changes the timeline. In the past, Jackson is arrested after Archie transmits the recording to a new station and the plans are used to revitalize the planet. In the future, Ethan's car is gone and Ethan discovers his formerly ruined city is advanced with architecture that is more harmonious with the natural environment than may be habited by humans. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the red subscribe button and press the bell icon. That will, you will know every time a new video is uploaded. See you in the next videos. Bye!